Today for my bag of melodyne tricks. Tempo changes at the beginning or end of the song. The beginnings and endings of pieces sometimes pose problems for melodyne because it is precisely there that the performance is often most free, involving often very few notes and therefore few clues to assist with tempo detection. Listen here to the way the pianist slows dramatically at the end, a development not followed by the metronome. In such cases, you must trace the ritardando manually. This involves very few steps. First, listen to find the last metronome click that was in sync. Here it's still good, but now the click comes too soon. Select the segment of the tempo curve that is incorrect and wipe the slate clean with one of the free tempo assignment functions. Choose, in this case, free tempo assignment to end which deletes everything until the end of the song. Now the curve becomes a flat line, which is wrong, obviously, but we're about to redraw it manually. First, switch off the metronome and then count in time to the music. One, two, three, four. One. Here, on this note, the count reached three, so in the tempo map, I drag the corresponding beat to the start of the note and this was the 4, so the 4th beat has to be placed here, and then here, the 1st beat of the next bar. Once more with metronome. So far, so good, but right at the end, there's another note, up here. At the moment, this lies between the 3rd and 4th clicks of the last bar. Let's listen again without the metronome to see how you would naturally count it. One, two, three. On the third beat then, rather than the fourth. Well, all right. The click could come even later. Make it perfect, and then choose End Free Tempo Assignment.